Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're catching up with ColourPop. We have two whole collection releases that I have not had a chance to make a video about yet until today. Both of these collections actually didn't show up to me until after the lines had already launched on the ColourPop site. So even though I love trying to get these videos out to you ahead of the launch so that you can see this info and decide really early on what you want to purchase, there's just the mail sometimes. That's the way it happens. I'm not complaining. I don't think it's ColourPop's fault. It's, you know, it's just the way it is. It's sometimes we got to delay that gratification just a little bit. The good news is most of these pieces are still available. A couple of the individual pieces from the Valentine's Day collection are sold out on the ColourPop site, but the full collection set is still up there. So if you're really dead set on getting everything, that is still possible I believe only one of the glosses from the Winx Club collection is sold out on the ColourPop site. The Winx Club is available at Ulta. If you have access to Ulta, you can find it there. The Valentine's Day collection hasn't popped up there yet. It probably will, but I can't say for sure. I don't have confirmation about that. Just a reminder that if you do want to purchase anything from the ColourPop site, you can use my code. It's an affiliate code. It's just my first name, Amanda, and it will save you 10% on pretty much everything on the ColourPop site. We are doing a real deep dive on both of these collections. I'm going to show you close-ups, swatches. I have a whole lot of comparisons. So let's start with the Winx Club collection since that one launched first. And full disclosure... I do not have any sort of nostalgic ties. I wasn't really aware of this particular franchise. I just googled it and it was a cartoon picked up by Nickelodeon. Originally it was an Italian series and it premiered in 2004. That's the year I graduated high school so I was just not in the demographic to be appealed to by this particular show. But it looks really cute. It definitely looks cool. I love sparkly fairies, rainbows. All of this is still super cute, even as somebody who has literally no ties to the show has never seen a single second of the show. I still think this is really cute. And it seems like the choices that they made from the packaging and the products standpoint really seem to fit the vibes of the show. And if I had been in that Target age group in their demographic, I definitely would have been crazy for the show. I can tell it's just something that would appeal to me because it's appealing to me now as a 37 year old woman. So just a reminder, the glitter gels are not for your eyes. They're for face and hair and keep that little tab thingy on top that keeps it from drying out. Now let's actually get to the products here. We had some face jewels, a glitter gel. We also have three light sticks. The light sticks are sold in a set of three for $29. So you can get all three of these for a little bit of a discount. Otherwise they are $11 a piece. These do have special packaging on the outer cartons as well as on the products themselves. Very cute, very colorful, very shimmery. The three light sticks are a pretty wide variety of colors. The first one called Icy is just a plain silvery white. Darcy is a sort of golden green type of color. And then Stormy is a purpley blue shade. And I really like the light sticks. I like that they did something a little bit different here. Went for more of a bold, more fairy type of color versus just doing really basic shades. However, I will say the two colorful ones automatically felt familiar to me from the Aura collection and the Snitchery collection. They did do a sort of green shifty one called Skywatcher, that's from the Aura collection, and then God Complex is from the Snitchery collab. Now, I do think that the purple ones look really, really similar. 
The Sky Watcher is more of like a minty blue green, whereas Darcy is more of a golden green. So I see more of a difference there, but I do think that the purple ones are pretty similar. So if you have one, you definitely don't need the other when it comes to those. Didn't really seem relevant to do a silvery white highlighter comparison because there's probably like a million of those, but I thought the colorful ones were pretty interesting as far as comparisons go. Next up, we have six ultra glossy lips. These are $10 a piece, or you can get all six for $54. So again, a bit of a discount there. Really like the packaging on these. I love the theming, the different colors. The colors on the packaging carry over to the colors of the actual glosses as well. It seems like these coordinate to all of these different main characters. Personally, I am not a glittery gloss type of gal myself. I see the appeal. I think it looks really cute on a lot of people, and I know a lot of people really like glittery glosses. It's just not my personal preference. However, I do think it makes perfect sense in this fairy, sparkly, magical collection, so I'm not mad at it. I will say I like that they changed the applicator. Ultra Glossy Lips used to have this little brush, so I like that it's now this little doe foot instead. You can see here the colors kind of show up on my arm. I think they show up even less so on the lips because your lips have a lot more pigmentation than my pasty little inside of my arm here. The only one that really looks different on the lips to me is Muse. You would have to put a lot of these blue and green on to have them read as blue and green on the lips. You would have to be wearing a lot of gloss, a lot of gloss, too much gloss for me. So definitely don't need all of those in my personal opinion, but you know what? If this calls to you, I'm not here to judge. Next up, we have the Just Like Magic's palette. This is the final piece in this collection. It's priced at 24 US dollars. There aren't any eye safety warnings marked on the palette inside or out, but there are a couple shades in here that I would recommend you just keep an eye on, I guess. There are a couple of these new glittery shades that they've been doing. They have smaller particles, but they do still contain a PET glitter for the most part. I haven't personally checked the ingredients for every single one of these shadows ever, so I can't really make a blanket statement, but for the most part, it seems like they do contain this certain type of plastic used to make glitters. The particles are smaller, so I do think that it's less likely to cause like an abrasion or a some sort of damage to the cornea, which is good. I would say, you know, just still use with caution, still make sure that you apply and remove them carefully. They also don't have any pigment warnings on here, but some of these shades may contain carmine. So if you have a carmine allergy or sensitivity, keep an eye on these pink and orange colors because they're very likely to have some carmine in there. And a lot of people are sensitive to that, or, you know, uh, there are lots of ingredients people are sensitive to. So just keep an eye on these, but none of them have an eye safety warning, and I do love to see that. I'm going to swatch these for you now. As usual, finger swatches on top, brush swatches below. These seem to perform pretty well. The red is a little bit tricky. It definitely needs a little bit more help to show up as smooth and opaque as the others. But across the board, I think these feel pretty nice. We have a lot of textures going on in here. There are six true mattes, one that's like a glittery matte. Of course, it's that lime green. They love to do a little glittery matte lime green. A lot of people say the glitter doesn't transfer. You can see here, both the finger and brush swatch, the glitter shows up. You have to try to get rid of it. If you just apply it as is, this glitter is gonna show up. We have one super shock shadow in here, and then we have three of those sort of glittery shades. I don't know what to call them. They're not quite pressed glitters, but they're not quite eyeshadows. They're like a hybrid. Maybe I'm going to start calling these glitter hybrids. I don't know. We'll, we'll workshop the name. I do have just a few comparisons here. Very first one that came to mind for me was the BT21 collab, the Bon Voyage palette, and these color stories are pretty similar. Now, not all the finishes are the same, not all the undertones are the same, but color story-wise, 
I think it's pretty obvious why this one popped into my head first because we do have a lot of similar tones going on here. So if you missed out on Bon Voyage, this, just like Magic's palette, could be a good alternative. Now I combined some of the mattes from Matte About Hue and some of the shimmers from the Play It Jewel palette, and I would say I got, again, a pretty similar color story. Not exactly the same, we're definitely a little bit off on some of the finishes, but I do think you could get pretty close to recreating some of the same looks. So not a perfect dupe, but pretty, pretty close, pretty close. Last palette comparison is this Fade Into Hue palette. And this actually surprised me. I didn't think these were gonna be as similar as they turned out to be. I really think of Fade Into Hue as being so primary and just like Magix reads a little bit more pastel to me. But when you see them swatched here, they're pretty similar, especially that green matte shade really surprised me. Now let's move on to the Valentine's Day collection. This is the Talk Flirty to Me collection. We have a new accessory here. It's a keychain and they haven't done a keychain like this before. So I think that's fun. It's not necessarily the world's most useful thing for me. Although my husband is always annoyed by how much stuff I have on my keys and how big my keys are. So, you know, if I ever need to really annoy him in the future, I'll just add this giant keychain and you know, that seems really on the nose for Valentine's Day because if you can't annoy your significant other, what's the point? <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of kidding. Now we have a lip care kit. This is from Fourth Ray. It's a new flavor, a new scent of an existing product. So it's a lip scrub and a lip balm. These are cherry flavored. I love the Fourth Ray lip balms. I do use them up pretty frequently. I also like the lip mask. But this, I wanted to point out, this does look red, but it is not tinted at all. I'm going to really swatch it on my arm here, on my hand, and you can see there's not any tint here. This is still clear. I know it looks red. I just wanted to show you that because I myself was curious. We also have some new Cutie Mark face stamps. You can get these individually for $9, or you can buy the set with the red and pink heart for 16. They have previously done a heart-shaped stamp, but I believe they didn't release it in these colors. I think it was only in black. So for this Valentine's collection, you can get a red heart or a pink heart. Just want to mention this. These do stain pretty pretty harshly. So just keep that in mind, especially because these are, you know, intended to go on your face. So you may just have a little bit of a stain, you know? I was scrubbing these as soon as I applied them and I still ended up with a stain. So just beware, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just worth knowing you might stain your face area. <laughs> Next up, we have the lips. These are the glowing lip formula. They're priced at $8 each, or you can get a set with all three shades for $22. Personally, I'm a big fan of the glowing lip formula. It's sort of like a hybrid tinted lip balm and creamy lipstick. So I really, really enjoy this. I find them to be very comfortable. And I think this little hearts packaging is so cute. I don't know what it is about such a simple little detail, but I think these are absolutely the cutest packaging of this entire Valentine's Day collection. We do have the heart-shaped compacts, which are also really, really cute, but they've done them several times before and other brands have done those. So I think I'm just sort of used to those, but I just love the little hearts on the cap. I don't know why. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. There are three shades here, a light pink, a sort of pinky nude, and then a berry type of red. I wanted to give just a couple of comparisons with recent releases here because I do think these are pretty similar to other things that are already released from ColourPop, already available and still available. So, you know, just keep an eye out for your collection. As much as I love these, I don't want to have a million billion of the same color. Well, some sometimes I, sometimes I do. I take that back. <laughs> now let's move on to the blushes. These are available in sets but they're $12 each. We're getting new colors here. 
As I mentioned previously, this is a product, a little heart-shaped blush that we've seen from ColourPop before. I think once or twice before actually they've released these little heart compact blushes. They're very cute. These new ones are not at all similar to any of the other ones I already had in my collection. I didn't even bother swatching them together because they're just really not similar. So apologies if that's disappointing to you, but we had a lot of swatches to do, a lot of comparisons to do, so I really wanted to prioritize the best comparisons possible. And frankly, these just aren't color-wise similar to the other blushes that have been released in this format, but certainly there are plenty of pink and red blushes otherwise that you have little baby pink blushes. To be honest with you, I do not like this blush formula. I had the same experience last year. If you look up close, these are just so weirdly like dusty and not smooth on my skin. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like these blushes. My other ones got hard pan. Like that just, they're not my favorite. They're like my least favorite ColourPop blushes, which is sad because they're really cute. Anyway, I did want to give you just a Cupid's Bow and Night Bloom comparison because I do think that could be useful. Night Bloom was a really loved color and it is discontinued now. So I guess that's the only one I can really recommend. If you're missing Night Bloom, then I can recommend Cupid's Bow in its place. Not an exact match, but close enough. New product alert. Now we have the heart packaging with these highlighters and I am happy to report that the highlighters perform way, way better for me than the blushes do. Look, I know people go crazy for the Sweetheart blushes and maybe they have a totally different experience. They probably have different preference, different skin type. For me, they're just not great. But these highlighters are silky smooth, really beautiful. They have that sort of soft glow. So not the high shine metallic that you can get from like a super shock highlighter. These are a little bit softer and more subtle, which I like. I like both. And I think these are lovely. They just glide on. Even just touching the pan with my finger, I can feel the difference of how much smoother and silkier these are. I mean, the blushes are matte and these are shimmer, so obviously there's a bit of a difference there. Again, I do want to give you a little bit of a comparison here because this is a newer product. So here are some swatches. These are with Super Shock highlighters, but we have some really similar colors. And perhaps if you're not a Super Shock fan, but you like these shades, now you can have these highlighters as an option to get really pretty much the exact same shade, let's be honest, but with a bit of a different texture because these are, the Heart Ones are powder highlighters. They are not that bouncy, creamy texture like a Super Shock highlighter is. Personally, I like both types of highlighters and I do think these heart-shaped highlighters are the best thing hands down in this Valentine's Day collection. We do have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Flirty Talk palette. It's $18. It is a 12 pan palette, whereas the Winx Club was a 15 pan. Both of these palettes in today's video, Winx Club and Flirty Talk, have the larger pan size. They have the 26 millimeter eyeshadow pans. Another palette here with lots of reds and no eye safety warnings. Not really sure. I would still say if you've had sensitivity to red shadows, regardless of whether these are marked or not, I would just patch test them just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry. You know, you don't want to irritate your beautiful little eyeballs. No mirror in this one. We just have some cute little graphics, same things that we've seen across all of the packaging in this collection. And then we have a very on the nose pink and red Valentine's Day type of color story here. Again, there is a mix of textures. Four true matte shades, two mattes with glitter in them, four just metallic shimmers, and then one super shock shadow and one of those glitter hybrids. This palette can be viewed upright, opened like a book and have little column type of quads. Or if you turn it on its side like this, there are monochromatic trios. So I really like the layout of this. I find it very satisfying. 
but I will say you can tell more in the swatches than in the pan. These reds look pretty darn similar on the skin. Once they're applied to the eye, you don't really see as much variety, just in my personal opinion on my skin tone. Perhaps others have a different experience, but I do think that this palette overall doesn't have quite enough variety and depth for my personal enjoyment. If you're just craving that red monochromatic hot pink type of vibe, then maybe this is exactly what you've been waiting for. Just not quite enough going on for me. Again, I have a couple of comparisons here. First is the All That palette. This was a previous year's Valentine's release. I forget what year this came out, but you can see All That is a lot more neutral in comparison. And there's also a much wider variety of depth. I think these two palettes could actually work quite well together to give a, more of a balance of what I'm looking for out of an eye look. Next, I'm going to be combining some nine pan palettes. First up is Cloud Spun and Cherry Crush. This is so, so similar color story wise. I really feel like this comparison and the next round, if you have any of these nine pan palettes that I'm going to show you, you for sure already have these colors. So I understand doing a very on the nose theme wise collection for valentine's day but i just don't really think that this palette is anything to write home about just doesn't feel very special again strawberry shake plus the secret admirer palette is more than covering these shades almost exactly and i would say as far as variety and formula goes those other palettes the older ones are probably a little bit better so, you know, it is what it is. Maybe if you missed out on some of those other ones, this Flirty Talk palette can be the perfect thing to fill that gap for you. Personally, my favorite products from the Winx Club, I think the palette is the best thing. For me, it's just what's going to get the most use. It's what's the most interesting, exciting. I think it's a well done fun colorful palette, has a good mix, and has a pretty decent performance. Just that sort of dark pinky red shade was a little bit off for me, but otherwise I do think that Winx Club palette is the best thing from that collection. And then for the Valentine's Day collection, I really, really love the highlighters. I think the heart-shaped highlighters are the best. And then the lip products. I also like the fourth ray set and the glowing lips. So those are my recommendations as far as everything we went over in today's video, but I would love to hear what you think about these products. Have you ordered them? Has anything caught your eye? Is there something else that you're using instead? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And also don't forget that I love your beautiful, cute little faces and I'll see you real soon. Okay, bye.